well hello hello how are we doing uh, let me quickly check this as you guys can see I've also kind of changed the monitor on which I hold the camera so going forward we can actually you don't actually have to look at the TV behind me I know Polly likes to <laughs> like to see what I have on the TV <coughs> hello to everybody hey Lynx now, nice to see you around as well so we are once again doing some more uh, then battle royale casting and we are once more in the platinum league oh hey dev hey hey bp as well how you guys doing oh we'll be around for an hour that sounds great jürgen <coughs> as i said jürgen do you want to hop in uh, i can actually select a channel to jump into otherwise i just call emma uh, directly <coughs> sorry <coughs> yep, Psych has been amazing. Uh, Psych has been amazing so far. I'm I'm glad he will be. Uh, I'm glad he's in the tournament. He was able to get in, and uh, he's definitely somebody who's uh, on the rise. Uh, Jurgen, I'm in streaming too right now, so jump in there when you can, and uh, I'll make sure to enable that uh, you can also be heard once in. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello, Jürgen. How are you doing? <coughs> yep, so this is the uh, Videra livecast. Uh, just one second. Fantastic. I'm so happy to be able to help you start this. Videra is one of the fantastic new additions to uh, the den yep. during this tournament. I don't think Videra and Sai understood me the best. Uh, they've, didn't, they've done the drafts. I'm just waiting for the draft links to be available. Okay, here we are. So we can actually get into those as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he is uh, Lynx. Videra is one of the greatest 1600 players with so much potential. Let I think we will see this. him killing in the group stage. Yep, definitely, to, in my honest and humble opinion, from what I have seen so far, uh, one of the best players we have in the tournament. And uh, that's not a small feat, I would say, as well. He and Broccoli uh, is the guys I'm watching in that group. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. It's him and Broccoli that, that might be the ones that uh, take it all the way. No, no disrespect to anybody else. They've just uh, shown us a lot, and then we've seen a lot of them as well. To to have such high opinions of them. Yep. And uh, I'm getting the drafts ready. Uh, they are about to start the game, but I have the lobby as well. So as soon as we are done with uh, checking out the drafts, we can also check out the games themselves right away. So uh, let's prepare everything here. Uh, Jürgen, if you are ready, I'm all for starting the draft so we are not too far behind him. Yeah, I'm watching <coughs> your stream here. Okay, perfect. So let's just start off with the drafts. And again, I will move up a bit in speed because uh, they have, as I said, already started their own. Also, uh, just something I added this time around. So I will show to everybody interested. You can just use the command for match and you should be getting the information oh, about the match itself fantastic you we are getting professional here sir yeah i took some time to actually do some of the stuff properly here uh is it showing up for people as it should uh you're not uh, in game yet so you can't use the match command yet oh, no i I, I manually added it i manually added it for uh for this one specific so I, you can actually add them in like stream elements i'm just not sure if it's yeah uh, then there's something you've forgotten to turn on it's not showing in stream yet uh, unfortunately uh no problem i will have a second more to wait because they're just starting as well so let me see if i can have it working because i have prepped it over here on our on the Videra versus uh, Broccoli will probably one of be one of the most watched maps in the group stage. 
And uh, I guess we will see Mr. Neo himself casting it or uh, together with Kaya or the other way around. Yep. Uh, we made no so to say, rules about it as of yet, but don't see any I, issues Well, with again, that uh, I would recommend that the casters with the biggest following gets those matches. It would make a little more sense. <laughs> I'm guessing that we can gather the following goals together i would say but uh, either way yeah it's, uh, we can we can we can discuss that also, so far we've been it, doing so uh, pretty fine i would say we it might actually be one of the first times you can test the new feature in twitch with um, co-casting so that several of you can show the same uh, game mm -hmm. we are getting yep. after all slightly <laughs> used to co-casters so we're not talking over each other as much <laughs> as before <laughs> yep I'm guessing with time we all get used to, to more and more of these things and kind of getting a bit better with them, which is, I guess, to be expected as well. <laughs> I, of course, Dev. <laughs> what is the, the den without some romance? <laughs> yep, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Either way, let's actually start off the drafts right now. To be honest, I'm not seeing what's going so to say, wrong in this term. Uh, it's something I'll definitely have to check with uh, <coughs> check with uh, uh, Dev and, and nag him about it a bit later on. Yeah. Uh, Devin, actually, my wife came and showed the uh, scream face uh, emoji in li real life at me right now. So <laughs> entertaining, <laughs> not going to lie. Also, we have Videra and Sai actually waiting for us to start the game. So to, to be fair to them as well, uh, let's we'll, go. We'll go with the drafts. So it started off with Sai buying, banning Crater Lake, doing us a favor, avoiding a conversation here. <laughs> and we destroying have... my complaining. <laughs> and we have Bogland. So yep, definitely they decided to do us Ooh. both some favors here. Nice people. But then <laughs> they probably choose Pacific Islands or something else horrible. Yep. Now, I do know Videra did play it last time around. He does appear to like it. But it's Sai picking Sokotra. I love this guy. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. I love Sai already, and it's Pacific Islands for Videra, as we said. So that that's I'm really not uh, not surprised here. A really dare, cool map, but doing? really hard to play. And we're gonna have Mediterranean for game one between them. So overall, a very interesting draft. I'm actually liking all of the maps. Like I'm, I think Mediterranean is a very cool starting position, and then Socotra and Pacific Islands. Well, we all know what I think of Socotra. But Pacific Islands also a very, very cool map itself as well. And then we have the save drafts. Before we go into that, since this happened off stream, I just want to give uh, a quick thank you to Sandling, Cybercool and Mrs. Lynx for the follows that have happened uh, while I was off stream. And to continue forward, so we are in the save drafts and we have Sai banning the Byzantines and Videra responding with Mongols and Tatars bans. That's important for uh, Pacific Islands. Yep. And then we have the Vikings banned as well from Sai, so maybe trying to remove some <laughs> of the water saves from the pool here. Yep. Will yeah, so Sa exactly. Will Sai, Sai have the uh, information to choose the Armenians? No. He okay. went straight Ethiopians in the first pick, and then Videra responds with Saracens and Bengalis. And definitely, s I, I've been thinking of this lately and I lost them recently. I have only one strat on water maps, so I get destroyed, I get destroyed. That That's fair enough. That's also telling this is a live set. Like, I, w I would understand if you were saying this, <laughs> like, for a recorded game, but this this amazing. <laughs> like, please, let this be a water sieve. Please, please, please. Side as the Persians. It's a, it, it counts. It's a water sieve, it counts. Yes. And if you're considering just douching him, that's not considered a water strat. I just need to point it out. <laughs> and now let's wait for the admin picks. So let's see what the admin decided to give them. Okay. Oh, okay. my ends. That's good. That's good. Kimber, oh, yes. Beautiful. Oh, this is good for both. Lithuanians and Lovidians. <laughs> what beautiful water sieve? Yep. Sicilians. Oh, Franks. Um, I, this is not normal i am 100 percent sure this is uh, someone uh, of the admin sitting there cheating their <laughs> life away <laughs> well 
I, I, I would maybe agree with you only if there wasn't a Franks. Nobody would give anybody the Franks from the admin team. Uh, okay, that's true, <laughs> actually. So Sorry, it's... I take everything back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or maybe that was the 500 IQ move, because I knew you would believe that. <laughs> yeah. So we have Franks, Dravidians, and Mayans for Sai from the random picks. And Khmer, Lithuanians, and Sicilians for Videira. I would say great saves on both sides. So they they have some decent choices to to, to go by still. Kumur on um, <laughs> again if we're seeing the Neo build on Socotra, Kumur is excellent. <laughs> Sicilians is perhaps the best Socotra save after your own um, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Bulgarians. Also, Emma, we uh, it's it's not too crowded in here. We were counting on you also joining in. I just know you were uh, playing a game still. So uh, we, are, we are hoping to have a multicast here, should say, in that regard. So we are in streaming too, so whenever you hop in, uh, do feel free to hop in. I still could update the title to also point out that it's Jürgen with us as well. No, I'm going uh, during the game, so please oh, okay. so you keep... don't have all the time. No, no, no problem at all. So Unfortunately, as always, I will have to go do the treatment a little later. Oh, okay. And there we go with everything. So wait, does does Emma see this stream? If not, Emma, could you please join one of those other ones? And I I'm think trying to add uh, to Emma right now. Up. I think I was able to Emma. Okay, I mean my apologies. Okay, here is Emma with us as well. So I think we've held. Uh, Sai and Videra back for long enough. I, I'm, I'm sure they're pretty My stoked apologies. to get this underway. So, yep, 14. Let's start the game already. This is going to be so epic, not gonna lie. <coughs> May the words be in your favor, as Sai says. See, so they are starting the game. Uh, I will see if we can join in here as well. Launching the game as well myself. Okay. Uh, no, let's go to Spectre Games and let's see if we can find them. Okay, not yet. Uh, I'm assuming they're starting the game and they might be a slight. Oh, there should be a slight delay. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, and standard is two minutes. Again, to give you a bit of context, so uh, the matchup here is Videira, who is from Portugal, and he is actually at 1605, and he is the highest ranked player in the tournament, and his gameplay really is amazing, as, as we could have seen in some of the previous, uh, previous sets that he played and that we casted, but also if you have had a chance to play with him, if you were around the 10 as well, you, you, you'll be, it will be easy for you to confirm this. And Sai is from Canada, and he's around 1400 actually, so 1350 actually, and he's somebody who has played other RTS games and just joined over here recently, and he uh, joined the tourney a bit late as a substitute for uh, Chestnut, who had to leave unfortunately, but really did want to play, and uh, we in the admin team did like kind of review his play and then what he does, and it really does not feel like he's at all out of place in the in the highest of the bracket that we have so really fun to see and uh, definitely to keep in mind that i do believe sai is somebody who will be on the rise and uh, definitely an up and coming great player <coughs> interesting <coughs> I, I think if you had other uh, knowledge from art uh, from artists you may mess up a few technologies if you're a newer player to age from planet but yeah you might be mostly compensated by uh, general knowledge and also micro abilities of macro as well. Yeah, so, and, and it's also just knowing that, uh, well, he may not know exactly the, so to say, the optimal decisions at the optimal time and what he needs most at the time, but again, playing against somebody like Videra as well is, I think, a great learning curve uh, when you're trying to, to, to improve and in the position he's in as well. <coughs> But let's see. So like happy that's, that's to see this matchup. And Mediterranean is the first map. 
Ah, uh, yes. So they should be playing the first game on the Mediterranean. Uh, actually, let's wait for them to start. <laughs> While we're waiting for them to start, let's see. Actually, from here, do you guys have a uh, any guesses on what sieves you expect to see for the Mediterranean game? Oh, I'm already in. Oh, you're already in. Uh, uh, I'll stop at sure the first minute then. Still. Why is it not loading in for me then? From the. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm at uh, one minute and I stopped. Oh, oh pause. Uh, waiting for you. Or let's actually let's do it from this or from. Okay. In the meantime, actually, Jürgen, you were right. Uh, it is Persians and mm -hmm. Bengalis. Okay. They actually and leave for... a link in the channel here, so we're gonna just use that. I can tell you that the map span is uh, not a weird uh, one that we see which half of the water is missing. It is correct for refresh Mediterranean with uh, thick mm, mm -hmm. water can. or basin bay. Okay, we are in as well. Uh, let me just change to standard view on the screen here for everybody. <coughs> and here let me are. when you reach the first minute because I don't have capture HP, I cannot uh, backtrack. Okay, I'm um, actually so I've try to speed up to catch up to them but I'll stop at 247 and does give me okay. just enough time to add all the information about or we can go and speed up to up to live uh, then we don't yeah. have to wait each other uh, yeah that would also work let me just update the elos as I said here so and 50 and Videra is 605 and from Portugal you know I like to give everybody the country flags and everything similar when we start so let's speed up now to catch where they are at as well. So Persians against Bengalis on Mediterranean for game one. And we've gotten, uh, I would say, a more standard map generation this time around. Because previously we've seen a few games where the players were pretty close to each other and not completely separated by, by the water. This time around they are on the opposing sides of the Mediterranean, so to say. And we are caught up to live time, so we are where they are at as well. I do time is many more for both of them. First dock is on the way. Yep. <laughs> and both of them are pushing in there. So scouting is lacking but understandable. Yep, and uh, we have the first dock up by Sai actually and he's starting to produce the fishing ships as well. He is the Persian so that's gonna be slightly more efficient for him right from the get-go. Yes, uh, I believe both the town center and the dock is working faster, not to mention they have yep. double the HP, so they are a little bit harder to push down uh, Persian of water. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, I think the Bengalis with the self-healing ships has an enormous advantage here. In equal numbers and with the same level of micro, I would have to agree with you. Also, with Videra... <clears throat> Controlling those ships, um, I would say the advantage is with the Bengalis, <laughs> but again, Persians, mm -hmm. getting them off water will be, will be an enormous amount of work due to the dock uh, HP. Yeah. But also to point out, since we have watched Videra play before, one interesting thing is that what we've seen usually is Videra loves the galley micro. So Videra is somebody who doesn't want to do fire ships and doesn't usually do fire ships so no matter how many fire ships his opponent goes with he's still trying to mass numbers of galleys and uh, out micro his opponent in that regard which i think is very fun to see we see the boar lure here also by sai helped by this scout cav it's a good play <coughs> and we're pushing in by videra as well <coughs> So I'm nearly certain we will see it and I'm again excited to be seeing Videra kind of force the uh, galley micro. He enjoys doing it. I spoke to him today and he talked about how he enjoys doing it and he doesn't want to stop doing it. <laughs> uh, I think it can work uh, if it's one dog versus one dog, but if it's two versus one, uh, I think uh, Fargaris can out micro. Not to mention you will most likely be a dog behind because uh, committing to black is almost uh, as costly as the dog. Mm -hmm. Uh, and for fire galleys you really need fetching, uh, or uh, galleys you really need fetching in order yeah, to be effective versus true. fire ships. Very true. But then again, like this but is... But to me it's a transport ship. 
Uh, I'm not sure if it is a mythic. Uh, uh, no, uh, the five ridge. I think he actually wants to go to the other side and maybe sneak a base in. Okay, that's interesting. But this is not like that crater lake. This wasn't really necessary. He might be getting a. Yeah. I guess it's a bit faster. As I not to mention, it is 150 wood, so we will be lacking in uh, dog department. I, I mean, Sack has a lot of food, but he's still on one dog while Vedera is getting the second dog down. And I would be surprised if it, um, if we wouldn't see a fire galley play. Okay, and there goes a barracks drop by Sai over on this side. And there goes the second dog uh, going up for Videra. Third dog now. This is a th okay, it's a third dog already, yeah. so yep. He really wants water, and Sai seems to really want to be able to annoy the living daylights out of Videra. Yep. But out of I all the things and it. all the preparation I've done for it, Videra queues up a fire galley. And Sai is also. It's a fire galley versus fire galley. But look at uh, Sai doing a, a full forward here with also an archery range. Yep. If you want to be closer. I'm just surprised about the transport ship because this is not like Crater Lake. It's not that often that people will just run to the side to roll off as it would be the case on Crater Lake. You have more land on Medi the Mediterranean, so he could have just yeah, walked I them over and saved the resources. I guess it's some way to avoid the scout, but the scout is coming back, so he will scout. Uh, surprise. And yeah, also we are getting barracks, yeah. archer range and stables near on the enemy. I think this might be a little bit of a commit. I two archer range would have been better. Uh, but I think he's see. trying to do a bit too much here as well. Yeah, we are getting sp uh, spearman, archer, and two scouts uh, while the fish is dying, and we have absolutely no long-term food deco right now. So it yep. is. Uh, it might be an um, all-in feudal push and hoping the, uh, for the best, but the tower is already down uh, for Vedere, uh, protecting the gold, which is important, yep. and. Even if his town center is under attack with three dogs, uh, he can fish boom. Uh, interesting. Yep. Unexpected, but it can there, there achieve some damage. We see a bit of everything going forward for Sai. Ooh. But we see that the defensive tower already up for the because his scout was Ooh. able to see this without, on his way back. Without that and tower, this would have been kind of <laughs> over. Yeah, but uh, the army is stationary, they are eating all the. Uh, Arrows from the tower. Only one scout left. Uh, yep. uh, other than causing some idle TC time, I, I don't think this is going to achieve much. Yep. There are some more scouts now out on the field. Uh, there's a uh, new archer with some. The more archers two. will take the wood line of. Uh, to be annoying, at least on the wood line of Videra. Yep. Th that could okay, mar maybe a market. Here, if, if this is not guarded, the scout can actually react and, and take down the archer here. Oh, but Videra oh. not doing it as of now, and Videra will clean off the water present from Sai here relatively easy and pretty soon into the game. Yeah, a second tower might be needed, but we are not in stone, so maybe a market will be rushed down to get the stone just in case and at least secure one wood line. Probably one in back uh, next to the stone so we can recube the co uh, cost. We see five fire ships from Videra. Is that the overcommit on water? Not against the Persians. You need the, the damage. He also doesn't uh, anticipate the forward, I believe. The only thing I don't like is the middle three fire are close to each other. A demo ship would uh, wreck havoc there. Okay, well, loses the scout here. So Conconium believes that Sai should have been even more aggressive here, maybe taking the villies to take down the tower. Seems kind yeah. of, I would say, extreme, but I do like the idea of it. Yeah, and scouts are there under the tower. Uh, there's three spears here, so it has to be. I, I, I don't hate it. Germs will be killed by the scouts. I think Sai actually did the correct thing with all three buildings. He can make the counter for anything Videra tries to clear him out with. Yep, and that's that's sim similar goes for, for well. Videra. Videra just also won water, so his food eco can always be safer. Yeah, but again, Sai can actually clear those docks if he wants to. But we have another villager on the move from Sai here in the north. Let's see what he wants to do with that as well. This is like a nice amount there, there's already 5 archers yeah. here on the field, 6 archers actually. Maybe a tower to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure if he's got it, the enemy second wood line. 
But dropping a tower could really deny. Mm. Also, a wall off would be kind of smart. Oh, there's totally a hole honest. here now. There's a hole here now. I hope Sai notices this in time that there was this slight over chop here this, that the scouts can go into. Of course, it's dangerous with all the spearmen walking around as well. Oh, Daniela, yeah, okay, thank you for the raid. Go. It is much appreciated. Hope you had a great stream. Uh, to all of the newcomers and the raiders, we are casting the. And Captain Joe, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, we are casting the Den Battle Royale. Uh, this is the Platinum Group matchup between Sai and Videra here. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Kegel the Elf, for the follow as well. Oh, some nice hits here, but th that we have from uh, Videra managing to snipe out some of the archers. Sai is making a forward walk at. The Zominator, Peyton doesn't talk as well. Thank you all for the follows. Much, much appreciated. And I think the scouts can get him because there is an overchop on the wood line. Uh, there is one of the archers are already there. I think that uh, the scouts could have jumped on the skirmish, to be honest. Yep. Yeah. I think Sai should still try to get in here, and he is. He's hitting now the gates. Again, Sai yeah. doesn't seem interested in really trying to get back onto water, but he did make Videra kind of invest in it a lot. So Videra probably adding more fishing ships all the way up to 12 now, <laughs> knowing he's under a lot of pressure here. It's not bad, but I think he's trying to overrun uh, Videra with macroing, uh, or microing every single battlefield, multiple places. Although yeah, the villager might. Here. Uh, the scout is attacking the <laughs> market yeah. instead of the villager that the body got forward yep. uh, house. Only the one, one spear is now alive though for, for Videra, so that the scouts here could do some nice damage if uh, Sai was to engage here, and he's trying to do so now. Yeah, but uh, bringing back the enemy scouts into the top center fire, so... Yep. Unit controller uh, uh, is tricky, but they are doing the best. Yeah, yeah, Humble, this is game one, exactly. Uh, Sai has been around longer and has more experience. So, Jurgen, that's not even completely true. Sai has actually started playing the AoE2 quite recently himself as well. He has and played Sai a different RTS first. game and, and then switched uh, over to this. I looked him up. It seems to have at least tried the game before because he has a much longer history in AoE2 insights. Yeah, I, I've talked to him like uh, recently and he was like, he had a, the game for a while but didn't like play it, played a different RTS and then a buddy brought him over to actually play this. So his like actual grind and starting to play wasn't as long. And he realizes there's an ELO difference so I do like to see this like, I always say like try to make the game messy if you're going up against somebody who you believe like nominally should be stronger than you. I actually so, sold oh, all the spoon. And Pride is also up. hopping in with another raid. Welcome to everybody. This is becoming a real fun live cast here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we have all the people around. And to all those who joined from Pride, I know you guys casted a game from uh, from Sai right now that was a recorded one, and now you get to see Sai play live against Videra as well. So continuing Sai's journey here in the tournament. The Bangar is playing as also up to Castle Rage, or at least kicked up, uh, slightly behind. <coughs> yep, uh, this should be a Vili kill here, this one was kind of out of position. Do it, does it die? No, it does not actually. Uh, this one, we'll try to finish it off. No, 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 no Bangar nice is in front nice of the tower just to save it. Uh, nice. I think it's a good job. Hey, a pride. Hope it all went well. Do hope you ha guys had a great time there. Vidal is already on stone. Uh, I think him either planning to drop a defensive to town center or a second uh, um, mm -hmm. tower just in case. Yep, but we do have uh, Videra on his way to castle as well. Sai was able to hit it while I was kind of all over the place with the with the raids happening and with a lot of happening in the game as well. Yeah, I, I think Sai's game plan right now is just one TC all in, uh, which is not that bad with Persians because the TC is working faster. Okay. Uh, there's Granted. a bit of echoing, they say. Mm, I'll, I'll try to check that out very, very soon. I have heard myself, myself when I speak to, to, to some of you. I'm not sure, is it myself or Jürgen or Emma, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Dev, thank you for the gifted sub as well. Uh, it goes over to our buddy Nevameter. Congrats to Nevameter and thank you to Dev. Uh, we have the crossbows now, some nice micro here from Sai, he might be able to clear this up as well. 
Uh, a Persian group was definitely not the play that you expected, uh, but yeah, they are working. Well, kind of early for for trash bows, but here we are. And I was wrong. Instead of a second TC, we forced down a castle with yep. every single <laughs> villager that we have ever built near the original town center. Yep, but we I think a lot he of gold here that we want to protect. I would say. So now we even have a knight in the field, maybe trying to to kill some villager. This will definitely go up, but if we can get a villi killer too, that's great still. Okay, deciding against it still. This is a lot of villagers building it, so could be a uh, loss yeah. of troops. Sooner yep. or later, uh... Ergen wouldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the trash boys might actually find these villagers. Okay, nice. Tr oh, but there's a hole, slight, ever so slight hole. They are not yet trash boys, and also Sai is trying to get back on water. The fire girl is, uh, cannot uh, hit the villagers behind the dock. And okay, new yep. Gali is there on the place to contest it. This is some nice kills here for a nice amount. There's already 8 really kills in total for, for Sai here. But there is still a really lead for uh, for video right though, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, um, that is due to the idle TC time and also uh, the Bengali uh, civilization bonus that every time you age up, as as long as you have a town center, or as many town centers you have, you get two free extra villagers uh, when you uh, reach the new age. Oh, very nice. We won't have the Rata on, out on the field, not a unit we see every day as well. Yeah, and it's the ranged version right now. <clears throat> not a bad unit, uh, especially since the recent um, patches. The problem is that uh, they should really engage the knights in melee mode because Persians have the sweep bonus when they get plus two attack uh, mm -hmm. against archer uh, class. Uh, unit with archer class. Yep. Uh, armor class, and when the Rata is in raging mode, uh, I think uh, the archer armor is uh, active on them. Yep. We also see some monks on the way for Sai, probably thinking of taking some of these battle elephants over if uh, they continue to be produced by Videra. So Videra taking this pretty well so far, I would say. Reacting pretty well to most things, uh, especially because Sai is the one that has a stable eco back at home in terms of he's not being pressured anywhere. Everything has been really going on over on this side for, uh, for Videra's well, well. base. Videra will slowly but surely run out of all the fish in the po or in the lake, and then the food eco will be crippled. I don't like that he's investing into upgrade for uh, the Volgari upgrade. Uh, yeah. I think uh, he could live um, without it. It's I, not I the believe most this is mostly method. because he saw this dock and he realized his size most likely interested in trying to get back onto water. But look yeah, at where the second TC is going up for Sai. Like right where his forward infrastructure is as well. So this is what I like to call that Sai is basically moving in with Videra here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's getting a roommate whether he likes it or not. <laughs> mm. Well said. <laughs> uh, we've seen some more upgrades coming for Sai, for the uh, knights here. Does make sense as the Persian that he will focus mostly on, on the knights here. Villager uh, numbers are the same for both players, the only difference is the 12 fishing mm -hmm. ship uh, that yeah, is and helping Okay, Videra so right Videra deletes the, deletes the elephant here so he does not get converted, that's nice to see. It's a good move. Yep. Sai is pushing a... like a maniac here. Yeah, he, yeah. he's old in Ingus. I love I'm how surprised Sai... about the second down center, to be honest. Before they started, Sai was in the chat and he said, I only have one strat for water maps. And I do not know if he counts this in, if this is it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a valid strategy. Um, yeah, but it's not a water strat, per se. Okay. So these galleys won't be a good investment after all here for Sai. Because we have upgraded uh, fire galleys yeah. or bad, bad Life fire ships now. Life given devotion is being researched right now by Videra. Videra, yep. And she's gonna try to engage here with the Ratas. Uh, I think the Rasha, Rata should target the monks. Uh, yep, exactly. But I'm not sure he can manage. I think he did try. I think they missed just once. Because from wh how I've seen the arrows fly, I think they were going for the monks in, in fact. Yep, scout archers is his water strat, exactly. Okay, so he, there we go. I think he's definitely going for the monks now. Are we gonna get any converts before the monks go down? We get one. And, uh, but we are kind of not doing the greatest in this fight here. Together with the converted Rata as well, and more knights are arriving, but there's more Rata on the field as well. Let's see. At one time, Sai also managed to uh, uh, throw away all the archer numbers that he had missed. 
Uh, yep, and they were kind of on this far away side, so I'm guessing they were able to be caught at some point by Videra and the Ratas, most likely. Right, this is a massive game. It's hard to cross. Definitely, I'm definitely a messy game. I didn't game. expect that this game, and I signed up for this. <laughs> definitely a messy game. So I'm making it really interesting here. Videra defending really well. Videra will be dropping uh, his second TC now as well. I like that he has a and more third as well. Tonight. I think that's a good move. And the Rata going doing very well for now for for Videra. And we have armored elephants as well, so we might be thinking of destroying the forward infrastructure that we see here from yeah. Sai for Videra. Like so if you can uh, deal with the monks, uh, then there's a solid plan. Uh, Sai gonna do nice some more scouting and attempted raiding here with these knights. Might be able to find these villagers here building this Actually. PC. Videra is trying to raid with Lonely Battle Elephant up in the north and he might be able to deny uh, the new town center made by Sai on the wood line. Yep, if Sai sees this in time, maybe he can block it off, but I don't think he will. The humble no. lord is... Videra doesn't uh, see it so far yet, he just walks away. past. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> well, no, 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 okay, we noticed, we noticed. We noticed, we back. come back, we come back. Uh, but I think the town center will be, as, uh, will yep. be up due to the additional villagers. And now we are walling it off. Uh, Maybe one villager will die, yeah. Uh. Yep, the one really does die, that one lady is gone. But here we go with what we mentioned, the armored elephants are out, Rata's in full effect. We wanna clear out the forward eco. Okay, we have some chatting yeah. going on as well. Again, Hello. the humble lord is uh, observing that this is going to be a bit of a mess. Sai will make this at least three messy games. <laughs> yep. uh, and the GG code. Yep. Also, uh, see what I was mentioning, Jürgen. In chat, Sai said, I have no clue what your unit is in terms of the Ratas. <laughs> so, definitely not somebody who is... Uh, I don't think he has that, that many games in. And th that's why I love seeing this, because he tried to make it messy, but again, great defense by Videra, and he will be able to take game one here. Very, very Don nicely done. To be really honest, Bengalis is not a civ you normally see on um, uh, Arabia or standard maps in the map pool. Yeah. Yep. I think if Sai Very would get, uh, would gotten the auto copyright of the knights, uh, the fight would have turned out uh, in a different way also. Mm -hmm. And he was really behind in full deco as well. Uh, if we checked auto rest collected, there is a 4k difference. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that most of them is due to the fish and uh, the uncontested fish and the food that they managed to gather in. Also, uh, we are in. So, as we said, uh, if Persians win against Persians lose against the Bengalis, and uh, the next game should be played on Socotra, which is the home map of Sai. Uh, to all of those you you who just joined and who do not know, this is a play all three set, so we'll be seeing all three maps regardless. And uh, we are just waiting right now for them to. Uh, Get get over to us with the next lobby since this is live, so we need to wait for them to start the next one. Videra has already uh, set up the new lobby. Okay, and uh, there it is. <coughs> yes, we have Twin Kai. <laughs> That's true. As, again, uh, this would never have been a dense a stream without some technical issues. Please, uh, Sir Kaya, if you would you wouldn't mind taking a look at the tech issues while we're waiting. Uh, I'm looking into it right now. Yeah. Okay, since you know so yep. so well, what do you think will be the two thieves uh, that are being played by the players? So based on what we have here, I mean, it's depending on how messy and who wants to make it as messy as possible. I would say that if I was Videra, I would go Sicilians here, in all, in all, in all honesty. And uh, Donjon dropping, of course. I think that Socotra is a map that, that loves that kind of stuff happening. And especially with the ability to deny many resources as you can uh, with with the Donjons as well. Because there's a, a, fin a finite amount of resources, especially stone on this map, uh, for, uh, for the opponent to take. So... Sicilians I would pick if I was Videra, and if I was Sai... Ooh... Is I would love Ethiopians in general, only 
thing is I'm not sure that Ethiopians would like I would love if they could spam their unique unit I just don't think if they would have the time for it to, to, to get to it in castle each and, and get the castle up again assuming your opponent might try to don't don't drop you and take you off stone as well I, I I think it would be Ethiopians or Mayans. The Ethiopians, since they get the extra uh, resources, and also I think early on you struggle with food, so you sh you are better off with an archer sieve. Mm -hmm. While Mayans have cheaper archer uh, archer units, so you can spend more easily. Yep. Uh, let's see if we can get over into the game. If it is started so far. Does not I think they are still in lobby. Yep, they are still in lobby. It's no, we're not able to enter just yet. So we are still open to be guessing on what the sieve picks might be here. I don't think for side the uh, random picks are that good, to be honest. For Sakotra. Uh, so no, no Conconium. It's actually Pacific Islands, but it's Sokotra first, or should be Sokotra now, because uh, Videra won the first game, so we should be on the home map of uh, Sai right now. Either way, we, we will get to see both. Uh, it's a play all three. We will get to see both of the maps. Either uh, way. The location is set to Sakutra according to Dolby Bowser. Mm -hmm. Let's try to join once more, see if they are ready. Yep, the game is uh, appeared uh, in the spectator browser. So I oh, think the game okay. just started. Perfect. So we are starting and uh, as this is a live tournament game, there is a sm slight delay as you all can see. So we'll be in about a minute and a half from this point. The countdown has started and uh, as we can see, it will gonna be Lithuanians versus Ethiopians. So th that's interesting as well. Uh, Conconium isn't it? Whichever Elo is higher is the second map, first chosen map. Uh, no, it's usually just about who loses the. You get you play on the map of whoever lost the first, the home map of whoever lost the first game. Yeah, I th I think that section of the handbook is being ignored quite often, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, it's kind of less. Also, Chico Teo, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the crew. Or as Jürgen called it, the Serb Legion of Gajarsen. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's like something we didn't check through that often simply because it's a play all three. And I don't think the difference there is that that high in, in terms of, well, you're still going to play all the games. It's uh, not like a best of three where it actually matters a bit more that you go over to your opponent's home map uh, after, you, after you win the neutral one. Oh. Hi, Chikateo, how are you doing? Oh, Emma seems uh, seems to be one of your people. <laughs> yeah, I know Chico, uh, from, both from Gatrang and also from MTV. So. Oh, nice to hear. <clears throat> nice to hear. So somebody he, he someone worth it to out the out of the game out of the game just to uh, greet. <laughs> nice, nice, very respectable. But also somebody who obviously knows his way around the community. And I'll send you over to the main screen now as we are loading into the game itself. Uh, okay, let's make sure to jump over to Capture Rage so this looks a bit nicer. And let's catch up to the players, and we already have done so. So it is again Sai versus Videra, game two on the best map made by man. <laughs> Woman, robot, AI, or whatever, it's simply the best man existing in the game. Uh, if you don't agree with me, you're just wrong, and I'm sorry for you. <laughs> but yeah. Sai already me. started to push in the deer, uh, and I think Vidir is out Kaj to is onto blame. something. Of course I'm onto something here. <laughs> yep, we're pushing in the deer, but Vidir is the one looking to perhaps lame a bit. Uh, it's definitely too lame. Uh, you can get in a huge advantage if you uh, can take, take the, the elephant. elephant. Yep. I also Not to wondering, mention... And we also have the villager going forward, so he's going to try to kill all the hunt here for Sai as well. Ooh, that's going to be... That's going to yeah, be hurtful. A good idea. It's definitely Not... a good idea. Sai at least will be able to, to get 
at least two of these in in time. And I think the elephant will. Oh no! Why no. did it just went back? Just oh, and we are right also now. fighting off the lion. I think it's going uh, we're we're badly. To, okay, we're trying to wall off the lion here. Okay, we have walled ourselves in. So now he's gonna. Is he gonna try to? Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, so we have to fight the lion. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a <laughs> it's safari. It's a safari out here. <laughs> The problem with this is he's going to miss the timing to take in, take out the elephant. Yeah, pretty At much. least. And uh, it's like he... Sai is in no rush to take the elephant appears up uh, up until now. Okay, still not taking the elephant is Sai. Still lucky enough and Videra probably assumes now himself that he's not in time to take it. But he yeah, but uh, he's still on the forward villager. I think he's he can still do damage by walling on uh, the yeah. very bushes. Actually Sai the... going over to yeah, it, it's Most happening. Good. The problem is that uh, Sai can uh, check the villager HP and in Dark Age, even if Loomed, uh, he can take the villager due to the damage yeah. received. But and the look how close scout is there to defeat it. I have just oh, I'm just checking the vision right now, and just by one tile, Videra wasn't able to see that the elephant is still around. Oh no, that is going to when be he's so next to the house. Yep. Unlucky. <laughs> and by default, uh, my data should be up because uh, they turn in get extra food uh, for each TC present on the map. Yeah. So they will definitely have the age of time. Now we are sending up villager. This will be a scout and villager fight. The odds are for side because he can reinforce and also why they already lost some HP on the villager. Uh, but due to the lion. But the has found. also uh, gotten in loom, which is not something the Sai has done. Yeah, he he done it early on uh, before going out for the hunt. Yeah, but Sai doesn't have loom. Ooh. Sai didn't get his. Okay, then he shouldn't win the villager fight. But scout yeah. is there. Uh, the micro battle <laughs> commences. Uh, not sure if we do have see a villager kill here. Well, no, we don't. <clears throat> I and... think we have successfully lamed uh, the very bush, and that is good enough. Even if it's not enough to stop the opposing player to click up the feudal age, mm -hmm. it will definitely be enough to delay the timing in feudal ages. Uh, he has to send villagers to deal with the wall, basically. Yep, exactly. And we have the uh, berries also walled in for Sai. I think Sai feels like in a world of world of pain right now. <laughs> I'm not expecting Videra go going full on. What Sokotra is, yeah. well, in the berries, and kill some of the hunt. He was that close to even finding the elephant, it, which game this would have, this point would have been over as well. And we are still aiming the gold as well. Uh, yep. The adventure of the village is not yet over. We are yep. expecting a lot of fire. I think at this point, even if you lose the villager, it is worth it. Yeah, but also like always in this in Sokotra, there's at least one gold pile that's a bit more safe in the back. It's more to the side here, but it's a lot safer than the others. And same goes for Videra, who does get them a bit Yeah, safer. and now we are also planning to move on to the stone. I think stone is way more valuable because <laughs> there is less on the map. Yep, and exactly. also, if there are neutral ones, it's usually between the two players, <laughs> it is easier, more easy to be constant. And I think we are going to see a scout snipe uh, near the mill. Uh, yes, and we do. Yes, yes we, do. <clears throat> we see the scout going down as well for Sai. For so Sai, the game is really not going well at this point. I think he's a bit overwhelmed about what Sokotra is. And my there is already up. Uh, idle time has equalized in the meantime. Yep. Stone uh, is being linked. Sai can click uh, up. Sai has clicked up as well. So it's not going to be too huge of a difference. So nicely done there by Sai. Yeah. But Sai is going to end really soon with this goat. And that's the last goat that he has. Which means he's going to have to start hitting these palisade walls if he wants to get over to these berries. Yeah, or... Do uh, try forming the good thing is for side that he didn't pick uh, civilization that is, uh, but he picked an archer civilization and it's yep. easier for him right now to get uh, gold and wood. But he's in the meantime being blessed by pride right now, uh, he's getting housed soon. Yep. It is currently hidden by the fact by that he's aging up, and but yep. he notice he is dropping down houses. I always like to give people the benefit of the doubt, thinking like they wanted yep. to go up and power pop, and blue that's fine. doesn't notice it right now. Uh, he's forcing up the paraxy two villagers and he pop up right now. I don't think the house will be in time unless he's rushing it down with three villagers. Oh no, he's rushing it down with three villagers. Okay, on the okay, hunt, yep. he will be in time as well. It's almost like Videra is an amazing player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so far it's really... on us. 
Yeah, but both of them are like playing great and uh, definitely a great set and I'm glad we are actually catching this one live yeah. as well. I mean, even the uh, Lithuanians mm -hmm. have the food advantage, the age of difference is not that much. Yep. Uh, we're gonna be harassing the Vilis a bit here by Videra as well. Uh, Sai is making a Barak and an Archer Ridge. I or a stable and an Archer Ridge. I don't like both of them. Yep. I don't I... think he can sustain uh, with the jet production and also scout production. Yep. Uh, maybe as well as last time that we've seen, maybe he wants to make it messy again, so wants to have a bit of everything, wants to be able to respond to everything and threaten with everything as well. Yeah, one spear is already in queue and popped out. Yep. Uh, we are dropping blacksmith as well. And uh, a house uh, uh, near the sea. Oh no, at the I'm familiar. I'm looking at the comment right now. Fish, I, I'm not sure if you know, but there, or like you probably do, but there are additions of Socotra that are actually where the water is actually accessible. I th uh, I think the only version is that the one uh, is man made uh, for warlords. For warlords, yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's I actually played on that one as well. Uh, because uh, in in, Col in the Colosseum, I believe it was. Or just with somebody, I can't even recall, but I love Socotra and its variations. <laughs> I think Tang is stab stabilizing well. Hmm. Granted, he is not building a either TC time because yep. he, he wasn't able to reach the barriers. Uh, he is now only dropping but farms. The palisade walls even allow for scouting to be constantly done here by Videra, so he sees everything that uh, Sai is coming with, so he's already ready with some spearmen and skirmishers as well actually the spearmen are kind of in preparation that there might be scouts out of here although none were queued up but these skirms i don't have the full eco for down. it i wouldn't mind actually for a blue of idea to get in town watch just so the mm -hmm. opponent side give even more vision yep that would be very interesting and i wouldn't mind for some of these to be start taking down uh, I don't think uh, that the Vinjan idle time is justifiable for it right now. Uh, but if we are yeah. noticing, like, uh, right now I'd be hitting it with the army that I have while I know that I can't beat the skirms. And so I got clutching in. Yep. Yeah, shout out to Fishy. Fishy is mega fish, or, f yeah, Fishy is very, very, uh, very, very promising, a very, very promising player and very young. One of the youngest members of the community here. Now, 44 viewers, we are doing very nicely here, and uh, um, I'm glad they're here to see this game casted live and not myself on the ladder. <laughs> so, I think they were all lucky enough as well to be guided on a raid just at the right time. I mean, you could do your awesome challenges right now, I think that would be fun as well. Yeah. To those of you who don't know, uh, I do believe that's a lot of you right now. There is a redeem on the channel called Kaj Arson because I do like playing uh, infantry sieves. That redeem simply makes me play the game without destroying any single building with anything else but infantry units. So castles don't. If I castle drop, that doesn't count. But otherwise, there's no rams, there's no traps allowed, there's no. Sign in the meta got three uh, scouts out and they are harassing. Um skirmishers. Yep. Granted this is costing Sai in villager production quite heavily. Yep and uh, there's a four really different already as well. But he can keep it up like it's not that hard to keep it up on, on, on uh, Socotra considering this is and I will stand by this to the last a 1 TC map. And we have a forward villager. Going and in for it. forward moving the villager as well yep. Let's see we're gonna, gonna drop a forward house for now. I, I think a tower would vert it, but he cannot really deny anything from Videra right now. Maybe the gold, yeah. uh, but he doesn't have really the armor with, with, He can't really build it with one villager, and uh, he has no stone. No, so I, I, I think, he, did he sold the stone? Oof. He sold the stone already, probably trying to get some upgrades and keep his eco running. And now two villagers out, maybe, I don't know, uh, maybe uh, gather point issue. Yep. Again, he is managing to find uh, some get up his archer numbers at least and takes out one of these spearmen here but we are having some scouts now for Videra as well are Videra managing to s uh, snipe out an archer here honestly at this point for Sai I think you just take the fight yeah, with all uh, the scouts uh, maybe Villager is being used as army to deal with the spearmen uh, I don't know 
it, yep, it's there a bad we go. Move, it's clear, and they are, and it's not a bad move. And like the skirms won't be killing them in a very long time. I think Sai is actually stabilizing really well, yep. despite uh, having uh, issues with Ooh, and yep. now, no, 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 more villagers have been sent forward. That's Carter fighting it. Yep. Uh, with good micro, that could be two villager kill. And, uh, one will definitely be there. One uh, definitely there, and uh, this one will probably die because it's heading the right, the wrong direction. Yeah, I, I, I think well. good value has been found again. And yep. we also have also, uh, sneaky. You are completely up. right. Uh, not. I may be slightly biased here, but the Den really is an active community and we do enjoy playing team games, helping each other grow in ELO and play and mm. obviously organize tournaments as well. Hi, Simon, everybody's he's, welcome he's as well. Look at, uh, look at the panic uh, market. Uh, he's mm -hmm. basically denying his goal, his own goal except just yep. uh, to keep out the army now, which I think but is a good move right now. It would have been really dangerous for him if this army got in, so I do yeah. understand that. He would have to ward the woodline instantly. Yep, very true. So that's nice reaction, and Sai is managing to make this really hard on Videra. And uh, it's interesting to see that it's really Sai in both games that's constantly trying to apply the pressure and be forward. Yeah, I, I think uh, after the lame, <laughs> Sai is really, really doing well, and he is trying to forward mine the gold. Yep. Oh, like me... resources. Uh, it's, Again, it is it's, interesting. It's, uh. it's always good, but especially on maps like this that have a very limited amount of resources like everything you can take away from your opponent is a big bonus oh but this will be game changer uh Vidal is also uh, is getting uh bloodlines mm -hmm. and ethiopians don't have it so this can't uh, in squad this can't fight uh blue will be a better off yep we're gonna drop a you also have defensive upgrade as well uh the scouts can now be formidable against the archers if you only get the attack upgrade i think uh Sai cannot really deal with the army mm -hmm. Uh, maybe could get this villager killed though, Sai. He has uh, 13 archers here, 12 archers here, and fletching on them. But we're not gonna see it happen just yet. We're trying to. What I don't like is that the skirmishers are, are uh, far away uh, from the scouts. Yep. But now the scouts really do need to turn around and start cheating these curbs first. Oh, there is a hole! There's there a hole! Well, I, I, I think maybe something got destroyed here. It's possible that there was like a palisade gate here that got destroyed okay. right now. And I think this is a fight that Videra can take. Uh, yep. He should just I focus do down the light cap and the GG. But actually, no, that his scouts are losing out, and these scouts can do a lot of damage. Yeah, he, he didn't focus around. Him. Ooh, this is going to be hurting him. Yep, the, he he can't really afford to lose all of this skirm mass right now. Yeah, uh, but look at the scout HP. Most of them lost half of their HP. Yep. Just one scout to... turning. Okay, turning he's gonna try to drop palisade gates here to keep these archers in. That won't be able to do so, but now the archers from Sai are in a horrible yeah. position. Sai si can actually abuse his uh, way up to Castle Age, and he's doing it after the next villager. No, he unqueued it. Why did he unqueue it? Let's do it. Let's do it, Sai. I think that's the best move we can do right now. I think he wanted well. to unqueue the villager uh, before uh, the Castle Age. Uh, well, he might not be aware right now that he's not board. going up. No, he is not going up. Also, Pride wants Videra to fight you. Far behind. Okay, now he now he understands it. But uh, Videra understanding it pretty well himself as well, and uh, will be clicking up pretty soon. And um, Villager down. Villager down as well. Lucky for Sai here is that since he was on the offensive, Videra had to get a lot of skirms. So again, this is not the greatest offensive and raiding unit that you have. Yeah. You won't really look at the army numbers. 12. Yeah, fifteen. To f six right now, but then again, that's four archers, two scouts, and this is three scouts, twelve skirms. Again, uh, maybe I'm not as scared as I should be, but I'm not too scared of twelve skirms. I'm like I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hella scared of Videra. I'm just not scared of twelve <laughs> skirms. <laughs> it's <laughs> don't get me wrong. Uh, yeah, but uh, the options for Sai are, lim are limited uh, cavalry wise, yep. and also uh, skirmishers for Italians are faster. Yep. Also, for the first time, maybe ever, are we seeing this J actually satisfied with the level of play he's seeing compared to the level of play he's expecting? <laughs> that that might be a first on all of the streams we've seen so far. There is an 11 village <laughs> advantage for Videra. I think if he can control his army well, uh, this game is in his is in his favor right now. Yeah. I really and think still... he should have been on stone. I feel like he could 
if he can drop a castle and have an eco to just keep spamming out some of these uh, help me here Emma what's the unit called uh, Total warriors latest oh, or Total warriors uh, I'm, I'm talking for side here okay. I think if he can get some Total warriors out in the field and start spamming them across that he can do a lot because yeah, those, look at those look at are... where his nearest uh, stone is do you think yep. he can justify going out there? Yeah, I think he could have tried it while he was uh, the one pushing and while he was in the opponent's side. He could have started to try and take some stone there. Because I really do feel like uh, you know how good they are against buildings and how fast they are as well. So I think they and they produce incredibly fast. Yeah, when there is already an Eriskum and Botkin, while for side he is just getting armor upgrade for night. Again, I I don't think knights are knights are early power spike unit, uh, but you don't have bloodlines. Versus you are you uh, you are facing a save that is getting bonuses on the knight based on the relics collected, yeah. and we already have a monastery down and the monk queued up as well. We I... have a monastery on the way for uh, Sai as well, but I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to deny this when the time comes for it. We have knights on the field, so these elite skirms are not, that don't feel yeah, that elite. And the, the weakest uh, knight is being sent back to the base, probably for the first one to hit the top. Yep, that's nice to see as well. But we do have a monk on the field, so Sai being careful not to give one over. And yeah, the uh, Conconium as you're saying, stable production. there is a walled in stone pile here, but to be honest, it's even in a worse position than the one that it's like, it's even a more in dangerous and open position than the one on the side yeah. here is. I or, actually think that I side. should have attacked it with the uh, low HP uh, knight, if nothing else. Okay, uh, do we have a convert or do we kill the monk? We should kill the monk here, exactly, because it was dropping off the relic. Uh, this is a decent enough fight for yeah. for Sai here. I have if to we say have another monk, we have to run away. A three stable knight uh, play from Sai. Uh, yep, but we are, it. we are seeing uh, it. We are seeing it. <laughs> no, do no doubt about that. And the lo lower stage behind knight is being held up. I would like so to see does. Sai take this relic just to deny it and remove it from the field. As well as this yeah. one if possible. For the Lithuanian players, one relic is already in. And we are yeah. going for the second one, which means that 3 plus 2 attack. Also, I'm, I'm amazed at how long these skirms have been able to stay alive for. And we are going for another relic here by Videra, so there is no monks present. To, to try and convert here, so this might be an okay time for Sai to try and get a fight. But not seeing it as of yet. Another monk out for Sai. Please take some of the relics. Your opponent is starting to gather them and he's the Lithuanian. Uh, I think with this many monks, and we are also getting devotion in the queue uh, just to avoid uh, getting our knight converted. And we are running back to the base. The monk will be just in time to get us from the relic, and now he's yep. dead. The and, uh, let, let's kill these skirms, I've had enough of them. I, I think the skirm might <laughs> have a new target. Uh, I think they will snipe the monks. One monk down, they snipe two monks down. They, they, snipe they snipe serve their the value. They, 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 really their value they, they were worth the investment, and they weren't a big investment. And now two more monks yeah. out. Oh, monks this is gonna be one night is in, one night conversion is in, a second might be denied. And yeah. we also have forward villagers which are going to die soon. If nothing else, they are going to be meat shield for the knights to be yeah. kept alive. But the Sai is still mostly winning out on this fight. Yeah. Uh, but sooner or later, uh, Vidira has a real advantage. Yeah, definitely. And with, uh, having bloodlines with being the stronger cavalry civil in general and with yeah. two, two relics already in and the monastery. And soon he will be also on 3 stable and I think then we can match the numbers uh, of side. Yep. I think he should start adding in camels. Yep. Yeah, we definitely need to start uh, mixing in camels here. We're actually having 3 scout cav now, so we want to respond to the monks. And, and a, mo uh, a knight has been deleted to avoid conversion. Yep, that's very nice to and see. And actually, we might exactly be trying to go well. for the forward relic. Oh no, he's just healing units. Okay. And uh, Jay is finding a way to complain still, so uh, good, we good, are good. having some... Some things don't change. Yeah, some things don't change. I was kind of worried, like, this whole working out thing was kind of affecting him. He was also being positive to people. We can't have that. You know, <laughs> I, I knew that this is a map with usually one TC play, uh, but maybe I wouldn't mind uh, a TC near the golden stone next mm -hmm. to the monastery. Okay, Just I understand what you mean, Emma, but never say that again. 
I'm not having it on my stream. Okay, okay, okay. okay. When you co cast with Jurgen on his stream, say it all you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm not accepting 2 TC uh, plays on Socotra. <laughs> you wouldn't want to reverse the game I just played. I went with 5 TC and Bulgarians. Yeah, I don't know, uh, Conconium, I don't know what Psy has against taking this relic. And it's kind of poking here, like, really, you can't miss it, especially now that I fully zoomed in on it. And we reached the braiding point where Videra has more knights. They're yep. queuing up. He's also investing into knight cap upgrades. I think this is going to be a monk snipe attempt from both of them. And... I just wish we, we could have seen the... Relic taken by now, for side that could have yeah, given yeah. a bit of a more more of yeah, a Yeah, I think neither of them are comfortable taking the fight right now. But still, no, at this point, Sai should take okay, the. Okay, we do have a monk snipe here, but that's gonna cast cost most likely all of these light cap. Or do we actually get them out? We yeah, and we are saving an artifact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, okay. we are denying the light cap. Yeah, we're trying to uh, deny them. It's, uh, it was basically Yeah, but we, we are blocking steps. ourselves right now. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. Uh, monks are out for both players. Uh, but Liu has more monks out right now. Yep. We can convert this knight and I would not be hitting him actually still. So we delete it. Yeah, uh, light and we light convert the light converted. cav. We convert oh, the I light cav of all things. But I love to see the quick reactions that every time like we see uh, both games, we are seeing both players delete units that are about yeah. to be converted. I think if Fidera engages, uh, he's going to be oh, wider. He's engaging. Blue, blue are engaging, <laughs> it means the game will be won. He's also sniping the monks now. Yep. Uh, monks are not getting the conversion. We have 20 knights versus 10. I think this is getting into GG yeah, territory. I think this is the I think this is the fight that, that ends the game. I think this is the... And th this will turn yep. into Raid. Side, no, side raid is not even weak. Th side this is, this is the He's not going to wait for it. Very, very I... cool game once more. Also, to everybody in chat, Jay is not joking. Earlier today in the same tournament, while casted by Pride, if I'm not mistaken, we have had a 5 TC Socotra game attempted. And uh, as you can assume, the winner was not the 5 TC Cuban player. The winner was the 1 TC Bulgarian player. But still was a great game. And just like this was as well. Uh, very nicely played. Videra uh, again. Withstanding pressure, good, pulling back and taking a win, making all the right moves. Sai, great aggression, I like how he tries to make the games messy, he tries to go forward, tries to be the one doing the aggression, doing the damage. Kind of uh, made maybe a few wrong moves or a few, I would say, lackluster decisions in terms of what he should have been switching to and how he should have approached it. But overall, considering that great he was behind all the game or uh, during most of the game time due to being lamed uh, and everything, I think he had an amazing comeback and he made this game happen. Yeah. I think most people would have heard it earlier. Uh, he yeah. he had the pressure and he was also up faster than the opponent. Mm -hmm. I, I think he played well. Yeah. Also, Pride, I... thank you for pointing that out. You're completely right. It was Neo that casted that one. It was Neo that, that saw that one and uh, kind of also lost his mind <laughs> watching that one <laughs> for that exact yeah. reason. Yeah, but Neo also went 3 TC booming with Persians on Sakutra. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, but, but I don't <laughs> do. Uh, we have to fill out the uh, dead time between games. <laughs> yeah. But there we go, we have Sakutra played out as well. So it's now Pacific Islands remaining. A very, very interesting map. And I, I've casted Videra on this map as well already, so he says he personally loves this map. Very interesting start. You have the starting island that you have really has minimal amounts of resources. It has barely enough to basically just get you up to feudal and, and kick you off it. So you do need to, to choose one of the two islands that you have available to, to start a second base, so to say, or to expand further. And uh, we'll see. Often it happens that players choose the same island. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Videra, thank you for the update. Just as always, post the, the lobby link where you did previously and uh, we'll be able to jump in. Great game so far, guys. This was pretty, pretty enjoyable to watch. The problem for <laughs> Sai, I believe, is that <laughs> he now has to rely on random saves. Yeah, exactly. Sai and maybe go, maybe Javidians here simply because they're the best water city uh, uh, he yeah. has. I was about to say that. And on the other side, Videra likes the Saracens and it's a save he picked not the one he got random so I would say it's fair to assume he might be going Saracens here and Saracens also 
Well, I've been looking into this for the past two or three days. It's kind of absurd that I feel like people are, so to say, sleeping on Saracens a bit, considering that there's a very finite and very limited amount of things that are not available to them. They don't get Halbs and they don't get Paladins. Or no, they don't get Halbs, they don't get Cavalier. But they get the full Blacksmith tree and they get everything else in the unit tech tree as well available to them. So one hell of a sieve that doesn't even get a trade penalty really for or only a 5% trade penalty for, for abusing the market. And I know there's a lot of you market abusers out there. I, I love you guys and girls. Yeah, no I'm wonder it well. is the fairy sieve for doubt to be honest. Uh, well, exactly. Yeah. And uh, if the Lord says it's great, who are we to doubt? See yeah, and, and there, also see what I did there. <laughs> uh, also, another uh, bonus for them is that their transport ship can carry more units, and mm -hmm. they yep. also have uh, double the HP. And on a map where you get transport ship by default, I think that can be huge. Not to mention uh, that the galley is attack faster, just like the Byzantine final uh, fire ship mm -hmm. by uh, yep. a huge margin. I think uh, this will be a hard fight for uh, Sai. But maybe due to the free uh, transport ship in the game, mm -hmm. uh, he might be able to make it messy and bring a game home. Yep, and we are also already in, and actually will be in in about 25 seconds, so they have started the third and final game. It is going to be with Era, with Saracens as we expected, but Sai going with the Mayans actually. Mayans. Maybe prefers the archer sieves, maybe prefers the I, archer players. I, 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 don't, I, I don't like the Maya pick here to be honest. Nope. Uh, I'm I'm trying to reason with it. I'm not saying I like it. I'm just trying to see what might be the background between this. Uh, maybe it's longer lasting resources. Okay, Humble giving some expand. insight. Humble giving some insight, saying we played this map and he went eagles. Uh, Jimmy, yes, it is. It is Emma Stonewalls. <laughs> Interesting. Hi, Jimmy. I think another bonus is if you fail to get off your island, at least you have more resources to to the yep. but optimization bonus of longer lasting resources. Here we are in the third and final game of this set, and here you can see it Sai versus Videra. And as I said, not a lot you have on your starting island. So the game really forces you to be moving away from it pretty soon on and choose one of these two islands. Now sometimes players would perhaps divide themselves between the islands, but sometimes they might uh, just choose uh, they might just choose to go on the same island and fight it off right away so we'll see what they decide to do we'll see how messy they are able to make this game go and uh, as, uh, as mentioned on this map we also start with a transport ship to do some scout scouting as well and to be able to transfer some villagers over to the uh, second island as soon as possible Oh, actually, uh, I wasn't aware that you started with a free house, so it makes uh, the Mayan play a little bit messy because usually you are half right away, so you have to, or forced to research Loom. Mm -hmm. But since this is not the case, you have one villager advantage. Yep. Exactly. Which is a nice bonus to have. Also. And we are also garrisoning uh, or transporting the scout already for blue. Mm hmm. And Red is landing with the US Scout on the same island. Uh, they will probably uh, will be indeed landing on the same uh, natural island. Yep. Also, uh, want your opinion on this here, just Emma. So I always think on this kind of map, so it is dangerous because it's a water map. But for example, I like the idea of something like the Cumans here, just so you can set up your base in feudal. On, on one of the islands that has the main resources on it uh, right away, or as soon as possible in that regard. So uh, It's not a bad play. Uh, I have a few ideas of Sipix if I want on the map. Uh, it wouldn't be a standard play, uh, but I think it could work. Yep. Mm. Also, Humble Ordo again saying Cash is cooking, and I know I'm getting sympathies from him and you just because all three of us love the humans. So, <laughs> that, yeah, that's I, I kind of it. a safe bet for me here, that to say. <laughs> On the last survey, I wrote to them that they should fix the blatant problem in the current safe design, which is in the technology that there's no stone walls. I think it will benefit them greatly. If really? they ever do that, I'm going to only pick humans uh, yeah. for at least three years. Right? I think the obvious blatant problem in the human sieve is that the Kipchaks are fucking awful. <laughs> uh, I think they are situational. Um, at the right moment they have really great value and they are cheap as hell. 
Yeah, and I think they are situational. I think if the situation is you are playing an AoE 2 game, you probably shouldn't do them. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I just... I, I don't know. They, they okay. don't, like... I love the humans, and yet whenever I went keep trucks, it didn't work out. And uh, maybe it's partly me to blame yeah. as well. I'm not uh, going to leave from it. Maybe just... it was back in the day where you saw Passerty Villagers and just going to uh, do some magic yeah. with absolutely no eco. So if you are relying on three keep checks, then of course they are not back going to do magic. Back in the day, as in like yesterday. <laughs> 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 cool. Anyways. Uh... Yeah. Both Humans are trying a bit to, to be desired, Jurgen says. I mean, they do in you... late game. Uh... It kind of does, but they get full elite look at you with all upgrades, look at so. you microing the trans warship just in uh just in case to make uh red fishing eco inefficient they are body blocking the fish <laughs> and they are both picking up on it yep that, that's <clears throat> nice to see and uh Videra obviously has enough free time to, to to be able to do this <laughs> i mean it's not the most eventful map <laughs> okay, okay here we go you know, Videra, if you do watch this back, there's a saying in my country that my dad loves, and we say it like uh, a jobless priest baptizes the cows as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's when somebody has too much free time on their on their hands, I guess. Uh, Sam will be able to click up. Uh, he will be housed if he can't go right away, but he's force dropping. Uh, he's doing good. Yeah, he will be up we faster. We have uh, on the way up. <clears throat> I'm Thanks for the eco for one more drop of here for Videra and as he's researching Loom as well, and then we should be on our way up as well. Yeah, and he's sending and villagers uh, in the transport ship. I think Blue should scout it with his own transport ship, and maybe uh, he can put on some pressure on the landing mm -hmm. villagers. But they are Loom, so they should be able to fight a, a, off a lonely scout. And also yep. the eagle scout is there as well. And we're gonna drop Immediate direction house. Now. While he was late to done. notice it while it was full, I think he can assume what has happened here uh, with Era, with uh, the transport ship, looking at the other transport ship, just casually standing by the shoreline and then moving ever so slightly away. We'll scout the shoreline just in case, but smart of side to just move a bit away into the inside to not notice. But here's a scout yeah, the scout for Videra. Soon. Yep, here's the scout for Videra, so he'll know Yeah, he's up. seeing the villagers, I'm sure of it. Yep, and definitely. the question is, what will be side next move? I think it's most likely going to be a mill. Yeah, he's already taking the hunt. Yep. It's not a bad move. Not a bad move at all. I think he was hoping to maybe wait for the fusil so he can drop uh, an offensive building even from, from the looks of it. Either way, he will need something for the villagers to do, so we'll need the size on and there only it's an archery range as I expected. One dock. Sometimes so I'm so I smart, I scare myself. <laughs> Yeah, Blue is investing into docks. I think he's going to invest into Fishboom and also to yeah. um, deal with the docks of the Mayor players. Yeah, already two galleries in. As mentioned, mm -hmm. Sea Bonus, they will attack faster. I think he wants to get water cross over. Sai is uh, realizing that he's not the best water player, as he mentioned before, and he's mm -hmm. already uh, sending a transport ship on the other natural island. I think he wants to make sure that if he loses docks, at least he has presence yeah. on the other uh, two islands. And he can get back in the game. But uh, what, what is concerning here is that compared to the Mediterranean where I could understand it, and it is a land where, game where it is map, where it is possible to sort of kind of ignore the, the, the water and, and still win, it's going to be a lot harder on Pacific Islands where you can't really move without the water presence uh, towards other islands. I have so to agree. It's going to be a lot and harder here if it's intense. Also first an archer range on the other island, I think he wants to secure map control. Yep. Uh, I would have really? liked if he did the same thing here, if he moved it a bit more to the middle, so if uh, Videra continues scouting on the sides, he will not notice right away that size on the middle island, on the other island as well. Oh, Fishing ship will be down. Spirit of the Universe, hello as well. <coughs> if you get and control on two main... Uh, yeah, yeah, he definitely can. But I it's don't also think something I... that's hard to keep up with. I wanted to build a mill on the shore fish. I'm not sure if he knew that uh, he can use a uh, fisherman and drop off the food into uh, Dock to be honest. Mm. The other shore fish uh, next to Dock's... Oh no, actually food was taken off. I'm not sure if it was done by a villager or if it was done by a fish, fish, uh, fishing ship. Yeah. But he did, it, he did it in the Mediterranean game. Like I've seen him do it, so it's not, it's not something Maybe. he's not aware of. 
the disability uh, is going yeah, to the spirit of, of the universe uh, uh it's something i also keep pointing out as well this is a very very interesting and seems like a hard map to play there's water involved there's very limited resources on the starting island there's two separate islands so it's a uh, it's migration with extra steps really <laughs> well, it is migration but there are more than one island and but, the starting yeah. island has uh more resources i think it is a more friendly version and the archers are trying to take care uh, yep okay so we have the galleys oh but i think the galleys can actually take down the archers and the transport ship yep okay. uh, we're not taking the archers out here where are i mean we if, going if it can destroy side? uh if it can destroy the transport ship, and i think the fish ship, ship will, uh, will block it the archers will go oh down my god the videra is, is crazy Just here. That, yeah videra yeah. is crazy well here amazing oh amazing i mean i i wouldn't even think of it Ooh, I think this is this is well done. This is, and, this is and really well done. If you look at the chat, he was pretty much warned because Videra was saying to or no rather. <laughs> so he did give him a heads up like don't do it. Uh, it was done. And also in the meantime, Videra is uh, missing his own archer ranges. Mm -hmm. And here is another set of some bonus will come in play, I believe. If he's managing to win the archer fight, uh, then he's he has extra bonus damage against building, so he can clean up the forward, even in feudal age, relatively fast with yep. archers. But we can <clears> see that uh, Sai will try the same thing with another transport ship, but this time dropping a drop over on this side, and then trying to take it over while the galleys don't see him at all. The galleys are uh, gonna be busy hitting the, hitting the starting dock for him. I I don't think it's a bad play, but when the enemy also has a transport ship, uh, you are just delaying the enemy. Uh, you're not uh, unless the enemy is, is not noticing, but most likely with four archers, you're not going to deal uh, heavy damage. But we will see. Uh, it's five to be fair, but yeah, still okay. still the. Uh, I was looking at. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I feel like Videra is losing it. This is too chaotic, just FC. I feel like both of these players don't mind it being chaotic. I, I feel like they both know what they are doing and don't know what they are doing just enough <laughs> for this to be fine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, just speak the Vidians or go back and pick Celts. Yeah, I mean, he had the Dravidians up. He could have chosen the Dravidians, which seemed like a bit more logical choice on this map. Again, from what you've seen so far, he really is an archer player, and that's that type of play he prefers. And Transport ship is in. Archers are being dropped off. I don't think that Videra is seeing it. And if he targets the Woodland, he can easily take at least fit fletching uh, anti two villager. Be yep. guaranteed. And, uh, but he's walking see. dangerous close to the TC. <laughs> and he's and attacking the uh, yep. lumber camp. Heads up was given to the enemy, but still, we are Videra now realizes it. his opponent is over here. And already, oh, the uh, tower is being we'll get another one. Yes, we'll get a third one perhaps. Kill the Vili that's walking behind you. Ah, I think he could have gotten close. the kill if he went for this Vili that was walking behind his archers at the start. I, I think he, he, he got a great value and also he forced the enemy to drop a tower for the Saracens and yep. he cannot really abuse the market right now. Yep, he idled some eco, uh, forced out a tower and uh, forced a migration of some of the villagers as well. Which might have happened uh, itself but maybe not as soon, it didn't appear Videra was doing it until yeah. this happened. The only thing immediately danger is the wood line, but also I think Vidir is trying to use uh, the Sarasta market to get better prices. Mm -hmm. Using his advantages, he will be up relatively short uh, after Sai. Yep, but look at this, there's already 11 archers on the tower. side of Videra as well. No, actually he, he will not be up. Uh, he bought stone to get another tower just to keep the villagers safe. Oh, yep, very true. So he's a bit short on food right now, but should be able to pick up very soon himself. Could even unqueue this filly, but it's too close to finishing to really be unqueued. But yeah, should but... be picking now. Yeah, so we do have a 45 second advantage for Sai in getting up to Castle Age, and we're gonna see Archer on Archer fight here. So 12 Archers apiece. Actually, I think we missed something. Uh, in the first island that I landed, I think the Archers managed to find uh, value and killed all the villagers uh, yeah. on the Thailand. Also, Sai taking over the archers from this island so maybe ceding control of the island he landed on first and this is what we mentioned so he kind of wanted to get on both islands just to make sure if he loses one but yeah 
five getting house soon. And another bench <laughs> that just have been dropped off. You. Like, yeah, I mean, humble, you know this. I'm here for Willy's dying. Like, this, this game is all about Actually, Willy's dying. Uh, if we did a, a scout, it, he can take out the low HP villager that is building a forward uh, archer range of the building. But I don't think. Yeah, he's with the galleys, but I don't them. know. I don't think he knows it just yet. And within ten seconds, we are in Castle Age, and we can expect to see. He can see it. He can see it now. He can see it now. Uh, but he's focusing on the archers. Uh, do we get this I, up in time? Do we get this up in yeah, time? We get this up in has time. six HP. We need. We get this, this up in has time. Been denied. And we have crossbowman upgrade on the way. But yeah. why are we using this? The the most offensive archer we need to do this. That that's something I'm kind of surprised with. Uh, we need to unload these villagers here, Sai, before this. Sai, please. Sai, 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 please, please, please. No, no we are going to lose. No, we are going to lose. There's two villagers, and two villagers, and two villagers, and also the archers. Yep, that's really unfortunate because oh. there was no reason for and this. And I, I think Sai can take the villager, but he still uh, they didn't notice the time. The villager has six HP. Yep. Oh, that siege workshop will be the bane uh, of blue's existence, I would say. Yep. That's eleven eco kills for Videra, and most of them happened in transport ships. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah I, th I think the three or four villagers on the first island was also taken care of. Uh, because the, the base is uh, uh, empty. Oh no, uh, Conconium, like definitely Sai wanted to make it messy and by messy he means so messy he won't know what's going on. Let alone anybody else, I love it. But look at this, Videra doing the exact same thing, thinking like I can do whatever you can do as well. So he's gonna be... Yeah, sending archers behind the woodline. And I don't on the other think... Side. I think Red has noticed based on the garrisoning, but still have gold miners. Ooh, uh, Sai not noticing not this reacting. might lose a villager or okay, two okay. here. No, he loses losing. one for now. Yeah, but look again. 10 villager advantage for blue player again. Yep, once again. But will we see a mangonel from here? So yep, we will try to get a mangonel out and start hitting the economy. But there's a siege And the villager is still alive. Videra as well. I mean... The Gallic could kill the villager with just one shot, but refuses to moving yeah, forward. If they, walk, if they move forward, they have the range for it, actually, yeah. Uh, Sai needs to be careful yeah. here, there's a Mangonel already in here as well. It's it going to be Mangonel War versus, versus Mangonel War. Uh, I don't hate mm -hmm. it. Yep. Yeah, two Mangonels out there. already for uh, Blue. I think he will uh, take care of the archers in the north. And we are already transporting villagers away to safety. Yep, okay, we have a, we have a, we have a nice... As well. uh, we have some pancakes over here. <laughs> yeah, oh. and we lose, lose a man We lose a man uh, yeah. here, but Videra actually came in, killed some villies, took his archers to a corner and just waiting here for now. And there's a mangonel waiting for them here as well. Where yeah. it was? Where is it? Am I blind? I, I don't okay, think... it's behind the house. I'm not completely blind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think the plan of uh, getting stunned by the Saracen sounds good after all for these archers that died. Uh, I think with a good micro he can deal with the other archers, but yeah. no. Uh, Sai is focusing down the Mangonels. Ooh, Ooh, nice almost hit walking nice into it. Here. And the Reapers are just in time. Uh, but in Maybe order the to take dies. the... Yep, the villager dies. Yeah. Nice yeah, micro but, by uh, both, honestly. Ooh, this is a nice hit on the other here. side here for Sai. A lot of these crossbowmen die. Are we having another nice hit? Yes, we do. Two more die. This is only three crossbows remaining here for for Videra. Only the one crossbow now. I, I don't think he expected the Mangonel at home. Uh, yep, and Sai. it was actually hidden behind this house, which was really funny. Yeah, and but honestly, he lost the, the archers. Can uh, but Sai lost the archers. And Sai has lost the archers. Time. It's really sorry, but it's really <laughs> hard to catch. Like They're both doing the same thing on the opposite yeah. sides of the map. And, and it's yep. hard to catch up with everything here. But the problem is that once Sai is getting value, he's still on one TC <laughs> while the enemy is two TC <laughs> booming. And I think uh, we're also making another workshop in the natural and just uh, to take uh, land from the enemy. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think he wants to surprise uh, by the eagles or the archers uh, based on the building that is still on the land. But Sai has nobody remaining on wood. And he has and enough the for a castle now, but he calls the GG well played. He knows this is not a great position to be in. Yeah, and I, I, I think he still wasn't over. But I mean, yeah, the situation was going for him. I don't know, he can try to... like, Even if he drops a castle somewhere, like your opponent is, has DCs on two different parts. He has nobody remaining on, on uh, wood. 
he did have some more gold to mine I guess and he had the control of one side of the island so maybe could have dragged it out more but he is down like 30 villagers as well uh, but GG I, I, I love how um, he made all the games messy yeah uh, and all was competitive like you mentioned uh, mm -hmm. he's not a uh, traditional age of first point because he's coming from other uh, games other audiences but I think and also he was kind of undrafted and also punished by the random up because he's not an uh, not a water player traditionally. Yep. I think he tried to force the game into the game style that is more advantage to him, but I think not knowing the safe or not being comfortable with them enough, uh both Vider at the edge, who as you mentioned is the highest rated player in the tournament. Mm -hmm. I think if he fights someone who has one hundred eight or less, I think he could have taken all three games to be honest. Yep. Uh, also, Videra, uh, I asked him which game he's coming from, and he told me, and it's a very small, like, indie type game that he played for a while, and then a friend brought him over to AoE2. So I forgot the name, and I also asked him, like, just like you did to, to check, but never heard of it, to be honest, and that's something I think he could be able to answer better. 